How's it going guys and welcome back to Off The Grid. So I have been a little bit busy off camera and we now have a new addition, an extension to our yard. So we had a bit of a problem with the storage when it came to our trailers and our truck. So the problem with the trailers is most of our trailers are dolly trailers, they're very hard to reverse. So I wasn't going to put them into like our normal sheds every time even though we do actually have the space what i wanted is sort of a drive through shed but i wasn't really sure where to put it but this is what i came up with so over here we um leveled out a bit of this area we had to take out some trees and uh, we did get all of those sold including the trees that we took out of that area back there so we did make a bit of money out of that um, but we ended up with um, this here. So we can drive through from the road at the back here straight into uh, the shed, which makes it so much easier um, to get equipment in and out of here. So we now have cover for our truck and trailer as well as our um, two dolly trailers. We do have the one other small dolly trailer, but that's just sitting um, at the house. So not a big deal there. It's uh, not exactly an expensive trailer, so I'm not too worried about that. But I think this worked out really nicely. It's a, a nice little area. I do like it. I think it worked out pretty freaking cool. But um, we need to do a bit of work over there. As you can see, our crop over there has started to grow, our barley. And um, it needs a bit of fertilizer. So we are going to do that real quick. Uh, do we have fertilizer in there? It looks like we do. Righty. So, um, let's get this fired up. The old Ford. Feels good. And maintenance-wise, it's not too bad. We'll keep an eye on that. It could do with a bit of a clean, to be honest. So, we might do that uh, soon-ish. But, um, yeah. While we do this, I, I thought about what we are going to do with the space that we have back there that we're busy clearing out and today we're gonna try and do a bit more back there and also we need to clear out some space um for a road that we are gonna put in now i was kind of dead set at trying to get some cows on the property here but i since sort of decided against it i don't think we're gonna get cows on the property i think it's just um maybe a little bit too much for what we're kind of trying to do here i think it is possible but i don't think it's the right thing and um, i think it'll get a little bit too intense and the whole idea here is just to sort of have a nice easy life kind of off the grid at least as much as possible where at this point we are still completely off the grid which is great and um yeah it's supposed to just be sort of a, a nice and chill um property for us to just kind of keep busy and have a bit of fun with some farming and logging so i think when we sort of introduce cows to the property or dairy to the property i think things will just become a bit too intense to be completely honest so i think we're not gonna do that but i do still want to clear that bit um out back there and i want to create a road that leads back there because um, I do want to create at least one more field. Now that is my plan. What will actually like seed there or plant there? I'm not 100% sure. I was thinking maybe a root crop, something like that. But I mean, if we just do a cereal crop, that'll be absolutely fine as well. Uh, I would just like to have one more field back there. And um, like I say, create a road that runs back there as well which is going to be a little bit tricky because we have to sort of bring it down the the side of the mountain and there's a lot of trees and stuff over there that needs taken care of before we can actually do that but um yeah i'm sure we'll figure something out but that should be come on you can do it there we go all right that should be fertilizing done on this field which is good but um yeah we're gonna have to bring a road sort of off the side of this hill here um at a bit of an angle so we're probably gonna have to dig out of the the hill uh, right up there and sort of around that field and down to the t-junction that we have at the moment so yeah we have got a pretty good bit cleared out here 
but I want to go a little bit further back in there because it is relatively flat and we're going to have to clear out here a little bit and like I say all the way uh, down here we'll have to take out these trees and then take out the trees sort of leading around that field sort of hmm, I don't know maybe it's sort of up here I don't know if I want to go completely to the peak but maybe maybe where I'm driving at the moment sort of through here we'll have to take out some trees and then just follow this field around here because I do want to take out as as few trees as I possibly can and then this is going to be very steep coming down here so we'll probably have to go closer to that field and bring it down into here but that is kind of the plan but um yeah that'll probably end up being another grass field or cereal crop I'm not sure very well could also do um like a a root crop there potatoes or uh sugar beet or something like that I don't know I'm I'm not 100% sure but yeah I was um I was gonna go with oh we need to um unhook this I was gonna go with the dairy but I think it's like I say I think it's gonna be just a little bit too much for what we are doing here it'll it'll get a little bit too intense and that's really not what I'm trying to do um with this operation currently so yeah and um, let's get oh yeah there we go that is fine no manual disconnect on this here but that should be fields taken care of and uh, we do need to get some water out to our vegetable garden as well let's do that we'll grab the side by side uh, usually i would use the um the little massey for that at the moment still nothing on the massey that's not sort of connecting to implements on the front loader so unfortunately not the most useful tractor we've got right now but yeah like i said i have been using it for uh, watering and moving some implements and stuff around but uh, yeah for now we do have the side by side here so we might as well use it um but yeah after we get water into our vegetable garden which is completely empty and we basically have all of our crop dying over there which is less than ideal uh, but we'll head back to um well the the area back there oh i don't want to go in there and we'll get some more logging done i want to try and get as much of that done as i possibly can today i might even do some of it just off camera um just to kind of get it done and um yeah then we can look at maybe building that road today as well which will be fantastic the trees here are really covering up the road but i'm not going to be messing around with them right now um, I want them to sort of continue growing first because they will get tall enough that they shouldn't bother us uh, in the road but if they do we can always just trim them out a little bit um, if needs be but uh, yeah I, I'm not going to mess around with them uh, at the moment I did trim out some of the other trees a while back that we had over here and somehow they all just um, seem to have died so yeah they, they kind of just disappeared overnight not sure what happened there but anyway i want to try and avoid a situation like that some of these other trees though absolutely massive huge yeah okay um should we maybe just get one more trailer in there this trailer is working very well little ibc home build trailer um that we had made out of um the ibc that we bought from the shop actually has been working really well i was thinking about replacing it at one point then i just kind of went against that decision because why this is working extremely well and yeah it was super cheap fantastic all right that is that done uh sheep are doing well so are the pigs and the chickens we've actually got a few eggs over there um at the chicken coop which is great so we can take that into the shop at some point probably won't get a massive amount but i think we've got about a thousand eggs last i checked so not too bad at all all right so we are not going to take the truck over just yet uh, but we will have to at some point uh, we'll have to take the volvo over there as well but um, we'll just take this side by side, figure out what exactly we want to do here. Yeah, I think we'll probably join this road up right here and then come come in this side of those trees, although we might have to take it out anyways. Hmm. I think we might actually have to take out a lot of these trees 
adjacent to this field might actually just make it easier to work that field as well some of the trees are just a little bit too close it does make it a little bit tricky um, to get in there and work those field or that field particularly uh, properly with our equipment yeah we'll see um, but I think I'm going to start over here and we'll sort of work our way around there. Clear out this area a little bit so we can have a nice big field in here. This might actually end up becoming one of our bigger fields as well. Uh, the one we have just here, the new one, which is currently our barley field, uh, is actually the biggest one we've got at the moment. I thought that one might be close, but no, this one is actually much bigger than that one. So that's good. And I think we'll have a similar size one here, uh, if not maybe even a little bit bigger. And this one might need to come out as well because we can sort of come up to this hill. And again, I kind of want a fair bit of working space around here. But yeah, anyway, we are going to get this big boy fired up and we're going to get some trees taken care of. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> So that is basically job done. I think we've got everything out of the way that needs to be out of the way. Uh, we also had a massive storm rolling through. So um, yeah, I had to stop for a little bit uh, to let that pass. But I think the road is going to come up here. And I think we're going to keep it relatively close to this field coming through here. Hopefully we can keep these two trees here, but we'll have to see... Uh, when we start sort of leveling out there same for this one here maybe we can keep it we'll try and go sort of a bit um, wide here and then we'll come down the hill we'll have to take quite a bit of uh, material out of that hill and then down here I sort of left this big tree here hopefully we can keep that as well 
and then we have quite the open space in here so it's basically a big bowl which probably isn't ideal for drainage when it comes to crop and we might end up with um sort of a bit in the middle that just doesn't grow because yeah it'll it'll probably just wash out or just drown the seeds or the um the plants when they start growing but we'll have to wait and see uh, the equipment there is basically sitting right in the middle of the bowl, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but I think this is going to work out pretty well. I don't know how close I want to bring the field uh, to this area, but we can. We obviously want to maximize the space. But I don't want to go too big because we don't really have massive equipment, so it'll take forever uh, to actually work this area. But um, yeah, I think next up is going to be creating the actual road there um, as well as plowing in this field, actually creating this field. And maybe thinking about it, we should probably create the field first because obviously then we can sort of uh, make the road according to the field. We can sort of build it around it. I don't think we're going to have like a ring road around it. We just need sort of an access road. Um but yeah, we, we still need to sort of have the actual field here before we'll really know where to bring that road. So at least we have a rough idea of where it needs to go up until about this point here. And to be honest, that's probably about where we'll end with the road anyway, because this will be mostly field down here. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll bring the road up to here and then sort of start the field in this area. But yeah, that was a big job. Um, also... I, I did take all of the logs into town and got them sold. We had three basically full loads, except for the last one was probably about three quarter. And currently we're sitting on $173,000, which is absolutely fantastic. So money-wise, definitely no issues and no complaints. Uh, we still need to buy a combine, but we'll just find something uh, nice and cheap. And um, yeah, not, not something fancy because we really don't need anything fancy. We don't have a massive operation here. But this is starting to look absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I love the new shed there. It's very handy indeed. It sort of looks the parts as well. I think it fits in really well. And then we have these rolling hills uh, with our fields, which, lo which looks absolutely amazing. And soon we're going to be able to stand all the way back there and look over our beautiful fields here. And I think it's going to be great. But yeah, the operation is definitely growing. I think we're sort of reaching capacity, to be honest. Um, I think we're, we'll probably be about as big as I want to make this operation once we have this field up and running. Um, but yeah, then again, that's kind of why I don't want to uh, get a dairy on the property here. Because I think it'll just sort of um, push it over the limits a little bit. And it'll become a little bit chaotic, I think. And that is not what I want. But yeah, definitely some good progress. I think we're moving along quite nicely but yeah next up i think we'll probably create that field and then we'll sort of build that road as well which is going to be a bit of a job but um yeah we will get into that real soon but i think we are going to leave it there for today so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time